My name is Stanislav Brebets and I would like to introduce you our translation server L10N OpenSUSE.org. This is based on WebLate, a, tra a translation tool for online translations. What is WebLate? Basically, it is uh, advanced online uh, translation tool which is op completely open sourced and uh, developed by the community. Uh, the pro our instance of WebLate is called OpenSUSE WebLate and uh, you can find it on L10 and OpenSUSE.org. With our two tr open source uh, WebLate, you can translate uh, tools uh, developed by SUSE. Basically, it is Yast, Zip, and uh, several other utilities, and also uh, tools for translation of the web pages, our desktop, etc. Uh, now I will introduce you the history. More than 20 years ago, uh, SUSE started to translate uh, their stuff. Um, they have been using SVN server called LCN SVN. How it worked in past? About 20 years ago, SUSE has created a repository called uh, LCN SVN. Uh, that have been based on SVN uh, uh, subversion system and uh, it, it made possible to translate uh, our software. But uh, translate, translators need to know um, the SVN subversion system, which uh, limited uh, the number of translators uh, that could work on the projects. Translators downloaded uh, the code from the SVN repository, uh, then uh, they translated uh, it on uh, their machines and uh, then they uploaded it back to the SVN. As you can see, it is not easy for not programmers. So our community was limited to programmers that, that can translate to a native language. About seven years ago, we decided to make a step forward and go online. We decided to use WebLite as it is developed, developed completely open source and uh, it is developed by a mind developer, a former SUSE employee, Michal Cihar. When we packaged uh, the WebLate uh, server and the needed packages, we started to migrate uh, the LCN SVN uh, to WebLate. It was not as easy task as it uh, sounds, as um, OpenSUSE has a different translation uh, then uh, uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise, as uh, LCN SVN had no tools uh, to um, co to make uh, both both projects um, merged together. From this age, you can still see SLE merge robot translations in our WebLate. Packaging of WebLate uh, was a challenge as um, the number of packages we needed um, was really high and uh, we needed a concrete versions of, of the packages. But uh, we succeeded and uh, now you, you can find all needed packages in the open build service. WebLate has many cool features we need. 
It directly works with GitHub. It is able to push and pull. It has a permission control. It has a review capability. So each string can be reviewed by, by a dedicated person if it is needed. And it has advanced quality control. So uh, strings are checked for, uh, for the quality, for the format, and etc. The basic structure of the WebLate consists of projects uh, that are the topmost uh, level um, structures. Each project can uh, contain one or more components and uh, those components uh, contain translations for particular languages and um, in those translations you can find uh, all particular strings. Uh, each string could have more forms, for example in case of plurals. Each set of translations represents a particular component. Components across a single project can share strings. Uh, so, for example, if you have more than one branch, uh, then the strings edited in one branch is automatically mirrored to all different branches we have in WebLate. Beside those structures, there is a parallel structure called component list. Uh, component list uh, presents uh, a, a set of components independent on projects. In our case, uh, we are using them for uh, the distributions we want to translate. The translation of a particular string doesn't contain only the string, but also all plural forms, um, also the review status, it means that whether the string was reviewed or, or not, and it, if it is approved uh, by the reviewer, uh, the result of um, checks and quality assurance, comments uh, from programmers, etc. If you are an advanced translator and you want to uh, see more translations at once and don't comment, don't care about uh, context, uh, then you can use uh, Zen mode. This is a mode that displays many translations at once. If you want to participate uh, in the translation projects, it's very easy. Just uh, register or if you have already open source registration, just log in and start to translate. We trust to our translators, so there are no artificial barriers for starting of translations. If you want to fix a string, just go to component you selected, and then go to language, you need to edit and then pick a string and edit it and it's it's done. Uh, the rest is done in the background by the WebLite server itself. After your edit, the string is pushed to, to the GitHub repository and then packagers will pick uh, it and package it and um, you can expect that uh, the string will appear about in one month in case of tumbleweed in the repositories and uh, you will get the fixed package. If you are not sure about the context of the string, WebLate has another cool feature. It is a source link it means uh, that uh, you can easily check the source code and uh, the context in the source code of the string.
at the beginning of the project we have been afraid uh, to open access to translation to everybody. However, the quality of translation varies across uh, different languages. Uh, it's still better than before and uh, we didn't see any problems uh, with uh, ill modification of the translation, just uh, one uh, mismodification in seven years by a translator that accidentally edited uh, the English strings instead of um, their native language. So in general, open access seems to be a good approach. Over the time WebLate gets more and more mature, it has more features, it's faster and um, um, uh, the problems with, with um, conflicts uh, by race condition rarely occur in the recent time. So I consider that uh, WebLate is a good step forward. It's clean, uh, that is a powerful software and it is simple to use. Uh, so we got many new translators and uh, the translation have not been never easier than it is now. So uh, just uh, look at that, start, pick a bug you will see in, in the project and start fixing. It's open to you as well. Thank you. So the question on the tool is, um, does each package has its own, like, I don't know, one package that could be, I don't know, Firefox, whatever, no, or does it, what, a single package has its own uh, uh, set of uh, strings and their translation, or there is a central repository of strings and uh, each uh, package uh, take, uh, take, take texts from this uh, central repository of uh, translation? This part I don't understand. Because I don't well, know the tool. Well, there have been uh, some attempts in past to, uh, to make clones of uh, pure upstream translations, but um, but we are trying to avoid that. So if the project has a, an upstream um, translation, then we are trying to avoid any translations in our web blade. Uh, there is uh, some exceptions where we are hosting just the upstream translations. It's, uh, for example, ICVM and, um, and several other projects. But... Uh, uh, but all things that, uh, that we are the upstream are hosted in the brain. So it makes no sense to, to have two translation projects for a single package. It's, uh, it's a basic idea behind that.